At one time, he was unequivocally recognized as one of the strongest boxers in the world and, without any doubt, the most spectacular. But sooner or later everything ends. Today, I would like to remember and talk about the five best fights of the entire career of Roy Jones Jr., which will never be forgotten. Despite the fact that Jones already owned the WBC light heavyweight title by that time, the fight was a rating one. Hill was 34 years old. Out of 45 fights, he lost only two. George, which you often prescribe in this situation. Yeah, because if the fight goes beyond two or three rounds, you've been hit in the chest, there's no knockout power for you. So you not, do not allow the guy to touch your chest, your body. And Jones is standing still allowing him to do as much. Stepping in and firing a single left hook. Hill coming back and struggling to try to land the jab in the right hand. Another quick left hand shot by Jones and he lands a right over the top. Another right hand and Jones is starting to get it. This guy. Another right hand lands for Jones. He's catching a lot of shots, but of course, he's being shot by a genuine light heavyweight. I mean, a middleweight. When you look at Virgil Hill, look at the size of those legs, the calves. He's been caught with some good shots, but believe me, there's not enough weight behind him yet. Jones landing with sharp lefts and rights. His leaping left hooks landing for Roy Jones. Get the impression early in fights that Roy doesn't have it in him. He's not trying to get at his opponent. But I have the impression tonight that he's working hard and really looking for an opening to make something happen. That's something he doesn't like to do. And as Hill lands Jones the right hand, Jones shakes his head as if to say, "I can't do damage to me. But first of the jab. He has a jab, Roy Jones does. And Hill still just trying to keep his glove on Jones. Jones lands the left, but it wouldn't just for the time. Now there's the combination. Jab and right hand. Hill lands the right hand over the top in retaliation. Roy right 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 Jones is not missing him with that right hand. He's whacking him with it. He constantly throws a right hand lead that lands on the left side of Virgil Hill's head. And it's Jones fought in his styled lowered hands, sudden lightning attacks, and finished the opponent in the fourth round with an excellent blow to the body. Over Hill's jab. Hill writhed in pain and was unable to continue the fight. The Ring magazine recognized this knockout as the best in 1998. In this fight, the new IBF middleweight champion of the world was determined. 24-year-old Jones came into the fight with a record of 21-0. 28-year-old Hopkins, 22-1. to Moreover, he suffered the only defeat at the very start of his professional career. Both weren't big stars then, so they fought on the undercard of a heavyweight fight between Riddick Bowe and Jesse Ferguson. The fight between Johns and Hopkins was not the most exciting spectacle Roy has many much more striking performances in his career. But the importance of that fight is undeniable. Firstly, Jones became the world champion for the first time, and secondly, he defeated a really strong boxer for the first time. As we mentioned before, Hopkins can't find a sparring part. Hopkins has probably never seen a guy that fights fights. It is scoring time for Bernard Hopkins whenever he gets Roy. But no early knockout tonight. As five rounds are in the books, they fight their way past. As they go looking at these numbers, they would have to suspect that Jones has the edge of the bout. Right hand, go back to the ropes as often as possible. Round seven of the continuum. He duck away from Roy's combinations a little bit. Just the ropes. Look how quick that Jones punches. He can't pull back. I've never seen anybody else been able to do it. Left hook by Jones. Run away and jab at the same time. First punch. And Jones is just too quick. Take Dramatic to win this fight. Hopkins land the left hook to the body. He turns southpaw. Jones is no Ray Leonard. 
Not yet. That's and eventually Hopkins stepped away. Right cross. Right here. Bernard Hopkins. He hasn't landed a lot of rights. Mr. America, Mr. War, our big heavyweight championship fight upcoming. The crowd has retained all of its potential enthusiasm. That's it, fellas. That's it, fellas. I take a break. I want you to break. Although he does tend to throw them. Jones defeated not the most famous boxer, and even not ahead of schedule. So, what's so special about that, you ask? And the fact is that the fight took place in the heavyweight division. Ruiz then held the WBA title and it was his third defense of the belt. Before that, he fought Evander Holyfield three times, defeat, win, draw, and won against the undefeated Kirk Johnson. Despite the difference in size, Jones won confidently and became the first middleweight boxer in 106 years to win the heavyweight title. Later, rumors began to appear that Vitaly Klitschko could become his next opponent, but the fight between them never took place. Jones did not compete in the heavyweights again. Roy finished 2003 in first place in the pound for pound ranking recognized as the best regardless of the weight category by The Ring magazine. Then his career went into decline. In March 1997, Jones smashed the undefeated Griffin, 26-0, but lost as a result due to disqualification. The fact is that he continued to attack Montel at the moment when he knelt down. It's funny that before falling into a knockout, Griffin looked inquiringly at the referee, clearly hinting at an illegal blow. It was very much like a simulation. And a couple of left hooks. And Griffin's knee goes down. And Jones lands two punches after Griffin's knee was on the cage. A rematch was called immediately, and Jones scored a landslide victory in the first round. Solid left hook to start the fight. Let me tell you, that first left hook hurt Griffin. Roy knocked down the opponent already at the 19th second, and at around 2.30 he knocked out with a left uppercut. Griffin tried to get up, but it didn't work, he was too shocked. Thus, Jones, in fact, tore apart a very dangerous opponent twice, suffice it to say that Griffin had defeated James Tony twice before. And if he brought the first fight to the ninth round, then in the second he decided not to hesitate and immediately demolished his opponent in a fight that was very important for him. This was Tony's fourth defense of the IBF super middleweight title. James turned 26 in 1994, which is not much for boxing, but before the battle with Jones, he already had 46 fights, 44 wins, two draws. Such a high activity of the legendary boxer with the wonderful nickname Lights Out was due to the fact that he easily gained weight, and in order not to get fat, he needed to constantly keep himself in good shape. Jones was not the favorite, still, he was opposed by such a tough guy. However, Roy dominated throughout the fight. Jones, as usual, was fooling around. Tony tried to answer him with the same impudence, but it didn't work out well. It was in this fight that perhaps the most famous episode involving Jones took place. He tilted his head forward, spreading his arms. Tony imitated him by doing the same. Roy then repeated the stunt, this time as a distraction, but knocked James down with a backhand a moment later. And Tony felt brave for it. This was the top five best Roy Jones Jr. fights in my opinion. What's your top? Leave a comment below this video. Tony pressing the action. Here's that counter right hand that got deflected by Roy Jones, and then he landed that left hook off it. So Jones right, Tony right, but missed, and then a counter left hook. And here goes Jones to work superior athletic ability. Perhaps every other round has been Jones's round. He goes right back to work with the left and right. Tony getting hit by some big shots from Jones in the center of the ring. But uh, 
Tony's Tony's never been in with somebody. A lot of them. Oh! oh good left hand from Tony and a right at the bell. Tony we look back at the action. Hit, don't get hit this time. Make him miss. It looks like this Light might be the uh, 10 second count as Munzin is the champion. He gets caught with the left and knocked into the neutral turnbuckle. Well, Jones landed two rights uh, and then slipped over the left. Oh boy, how many times has he done that to James Tony? Jumped in with that left hook. Tony's got nothing on his punches at this point either. A winner like James Tony, especially with some of the brilliant things we've seen him do. But here we just saw the emergence of a true superstar in this game. It's Roy Jones Jr. Jones wants to finish 